So I actually went out spearfishing with all the boys today. But we decided to have a little dinner party on Calico. It's kind of like the, the culture when you go spearfishing with a bunch of people is if you catch fish, you typically share. It just seems like something that sailors do. Let's get my fish ready for the marinade. A little bit of butter, a whole bunch of seasonings. Welcome to our camera. boat, by the way. Okay. I wish you guys could smell this fish through the camera. <laughs> Because it is smelling so good right now. Nice. Ooh, kind of, yeah, that's the real. That's what kind of cookies are they? Peanut butter. Oh my Ooh, god. Good job. Right? <laughs> we got here salad. Look at that fish. It's like restaurant quality there. Wow. Yeah. Sweet potatoes, some avocado for the salad, happy cruisers. <laughs> breakfast before we get underway again to head into the marina. Ham. Butter, onions, cheddar cheese, ham, mm -hmm. spinach. Yeah. I just went for a lovely snorkel. It's a lot of fish that I've never seen before. It was really exciting. Um, it's weird because all the fish have like familiar shapes, but they're all in different colors. And it got me even more motivated to keep going and try and get to the Sea of Cortez as soon as we can because um, I think my mind is going to be absolutely blown when we get to properly dive again. So yeah, but today we are going to go into the marina and we need like Wi-Fi to do some work and stuff um, and Bill's going to try and fix these davits and yeah, before we move on again. But first, I'm going to eat nom, this nom, nom. phenomenal little breakfast bill as prepared. Before we give our davits some attention, there's something else that needs doing in the marina at Barra Navidad, Mexico. Celebrating our good friend Brian's circumnavigation. So um, this next spot that we're going to is like basically Brian's official circumnavigation. So he's getting some just ship flags up, and we're just gonna hover around because it's such a cool moment to sail on a world. It's pretty pretty badass. Yeah, we're just kind of lingering for a minute here, taking some pictures. And if we go at the same time, then we can kind of film them going in, which will be cool for them to have that footage. So yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. It looks like a quintessential Mexican beach town, huh? We jumped up Mexico's western coast from Zihuatanejo here to Barra Navidad, a 200-mile passage for us. The plan will be to pause here for a week before continuing up the coast, moving towards our destination, the Sea of Cortez. Someone was welcoming Delos. And us. Yeah, and us, yeah. There's Gary and Brooke. Woohoo, guys! <laughs> This is pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. I see a water slide calling my name. Do you kids have fun in the 
slide today. <laughs> a little too much fun. <laughs> Jordan, do you like the slide? Well, there's two slides. Yeah, there's, there's like a duck And they are both amazing. Yeah. So I think this little party that we had today is kind of just the beginning of Crowley. Honestly, party. Yeah, like a week-long circumnavigation party for Brian. I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. I mean, how long do your friends still around the world, though, right? Exactly. It could be like a once in a lifetime or less than that for most. So. And this is just such a nice place. Um, this marina is gorgeous. Yeah. There's like a beach, obviously. Water slides. Yeah, water slides. Um, yeah. So I think we'll probably be here for I want to say like a week. <laughs> doing a bit of maintenance today on the outboard, <laughs> having in pieces. Um, I was noticing a low flow of water and also like a little bit of steam actually coming off the motor. So I decided to tear open the lower unit. I haven't done this in a while. So you can see here though, uh, broken impeller blades, two of them. So I'm not really sure where to look for them on an outboard. So I'll try to figure that out. Since I haven't been in here, well, ever, <laughs> I'm uh, taking I took the key out of the shaft I'm gonna get this plate off because I have the full rebuild kit with me. Um, it's all here in this box. So while I'm in here, might as well uh, try and fix the whole thing up. Changing the impeller and completing the rebuild, I put the motor back together. Now it's time for a test. actually went out spearfishing with all the boys today. Um, while Grace is spending, getting away from murder over here. But uh, we decided to have a little dinner party on Calico. It's kind of like the, the culture when you go spearfishing with a bunch of people is if you catch fish, you typically share. It just seems like something that sailors do. Um, so each one of the guys who went with us got a fish. So one fish is a little smaller, so we can do it whole on a barbecue, but two of them are a little bigger, so we got some nice fillets. And we're just like learning all the fish. We think that these are Groupers, starry groupers. Starry groupers, two of them. But it's kind of weird because like it's all familiar shapes, but the colors and everything's a little different. So we're definitely learning being in the Pacific what fish is good. Um, I prepared a little like dry rub and some butter. So we're gonna do like a blackened grouper fillet for the bigger fish, which Grace has helped me debone because I'm not the best at that. And Brooke and Gary are coming over. They're bringing a salad and Cole, who you guys don't know, we just met him here. Um, he is bringing sweet potatoes. Yeah. And we have air conditioning, so everyone's coming here because we're still in the marina. <laughs> Gary broke a red anchor, but the air con's nice, so we're all gonna hang out here. It's hot in Mexico. Let's get my fish ready for the marinade. A little bit of butter, a whole bunch of seasonings. Some, some nice blackened grouper tonight. for three minutes, and now I'm gonna flip them. Everyone remain calm. <laughs> I'm a little chaotic of a cooker sometimes. What's all anal about is fish cooking, because um, I don't know how to do it that well. Well, on fish is actually kind of a new thing 
for you. Yeah, you before I went cruising, I didn't eat fish, so. And then grew up eating fish, so. You like to be kind of just perfect. Yeah, I'm not really into like crappy fish. <laughs> it's gotta be good. Welcome to our camera. boat, by the way. Cole is going to be grilling his fish out here on the barbecue. Um, I don't really know. Oh, I guess because yours is whole, and so it makes a little more sense to do it. Yeah, I think so. Exactly. How are things going down there, honey? Oh, the fish is all done. Let's see what you got there. It's rinsing out the, uh, the butt bags now. Ooh, that looks so, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this fish. Yeah, I wish you guys could smell this fish through the camera. <laughs> because it is smelling so good right now. I love how you can like, uh, <laughs> you, like hot bake the cabin with an amazing sweat smell. Uh, like, uh, I love how we're doing two different like fish preparations. How's that wine, hon? Really good. Made nice and chill, huh? White wine spritzer. Good call. Mm. Ooh, what kind of, yeah, that's the robot. What kind of cookies are they? Peanut butter. Oh my Ooh, god. Good job, you are the best. Okay, this is what I I want this even more than the fish. <laughs> we got here salad. Look at that fish. It's like restaurant quality there. Yeah, sweet potatoes, some avocado salad, happy cruisers. <laughs> How is it, Gary? It's really good. Yeah. Grouper nice. is a good fish. Mm, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Bill, how did your fancy little marinade work out? Pretty good. Good. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm sure you'll like it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll love it. Going in, this is this is this is Bill's seasoning. Let's see how he did. <laughs> oh, I really like that. Mm, mm hmm More. Okay. Cold. Oh, also very good. And they're good together. There you go. <laughs> and today I'm working on stabilizing our dinghy adapter that broke on passage from Chiapas to Zihuatanehu. This will not be our long-term fix, but hopefully we'll stabilize things long enough to find a welder and a permanent solution. I was able to remove the old, um, I removed the old nut that was in here in a broken piece. We'll show you when we go back down below, and I was able to slide the rest of it back into the davit arm, so the same ball is here, and then I just put a line to a winch to the dock. I was able to get backward force. So now this is back on the mount instead of being on the hull. Uh, it's a little shorter than the side, but as a temporary solution, this should work well. You can see a little bit of scratching here and here. Nothing too major though, nothing that I'm gonna go crazy over. It's another beautiful day at the pool. So in the last year, we've stayed at a bunch of different marinas, um, which we never used to do. Uh, we were always on anchor the first like three years of cruising. Um, it was pretty much exclusively anchor life for us. In fact, we even sailed 4,000 miles back from Europe um, to the Caribbean just to avoid staying in a marina for three months in Morocco because we thought that was insane. But now that we're doing YouTube and we've been into life, for some time, we appreciate um, a marina once in a while. It's just convenient. You can just get right off the boat, go for a walk, stretch your legs. And when you stay at a nice marina like this one, then it's even nicer because you have access to all these facilities. So while we used to say we were anchor life people exclusively, now I'd say we were a solid, healthy mix. <laughs> <laughs> and this marina here in Bar Navidad is amazing. 
So we've got the two water slides that we you guys saw when we first came in. Um, this gorgeous pool, beach, a great property. It's really gorgeous and the prices are great. This marina is 90 cents a foot for us per day. So that's like $25 a day, $28 a day. So yeah, we'll stay here for a few days for sure um, and take advantage. And the prices are pretty good too, like on the food and drinks and stuff. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> I did, it was over 30 knots. The alarm went off, I've alarm at 30, I heard it going beep beep. Yeah, I didn't I'll look at the graph when we get back down there though. Yeah, I couldn't tell like, I couldn't tell how to see how much over 30 it was, but yeah, over 30. So glad I'm not on anchor right now. I was just like down below editing, really like focused. And uh, literally out of nowhere, it's a crazy wind. The reason for the sudden, strong wind is thanks to a storm system passing close by offshore of us. These regular, ugly weather systems have been plaguing us since Costa Rica and slowing our progress. Since then, they've moved in succession up the west side of Central America's coast, and as we moved northward, we stayed perfectly aligned with them, traveling in tandem with the nasty weather. Dealing with challenging weather requires strategy when long distances, like the 2,000 miles we've done since crossing the Panama Canal, are traveled. Because every area of the world experiences bad weather, but not all at the same time. It's a reality if you desire to continually cruise new destinations. In our case, something far worse than these weather systems will become a real problem soon if we don't continue our march north. And that is hurricane season. So we have made plans to go into town with our friends Gary and Brooke from Sailing Vessel One Life. Um, the town in here in Barra Navidad is supposed to be really cute, so uh, I'm excited to check it out. And it's only like four o'clock right now, so we're going in kind of early for an earlier dinner, um, just so we have some time to explore. So they're gonna come pick us up by their dinghy very soon. And I actually think that's them here now. Hi guys. You're right on time. Yeah, Mac Taco Tuesday. It's like a good one. Yeah. It certainly looks like one. It's a good thing we're going to get it. Falling down, or if I've ever seen one. Like a soft, like a giant, serious dynamo. That's a crazy soft shack. I don't know. My pants are falling down, like when the stairs. But if you want, it's just so active. Look at that knot. Square that. Hey, I'm so impressed. I don't know why I have this giant soft shackle. <laughs> I love it. You're setting trend. I think I bought it probably at Bacon's. Like they have all the fun stuff at Bacon's.
it's really small and like a lot of festive little touches of color everywhere and a lot of cool trees actually like it seems pretty diverse Sign says fresh chicken for sale. Poor guy. But I guess that's a rooster, right? It's a cute town. Yeah. Thank you, gracias. Ooh. Good size mark. Sixty pesos. That's like three dollars. I got a ooh, fajita little tortillas and it looks really good. Bill got a quesadilla. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. That's really good. 